Hello. Welcome to Awakening Game number nine. I want to share something with you as we start this game out. It's this picture. Um, this picture is a part of the game. So let me introduce you to the picture. There's a lot of stuff in this picture. Uh, you can see, of course, my dog, Ellie. Uh, you can see her collar, her tags. Of course, her, there's her ears, her nose, cute little nose, her tail folded under, she, her paw. Right? She's laying on this quilt, uh, which of course is on my bed. And you, know, you can see a bunch of different pillows on my bed. This one's a little darker purple lighter purple. Above it is a, a painting that my daughter made for me. Above that is a quilt wall hanging that my mom made for me. Of course, you can tell they're hanging on a wall. You can identify the wall. Next to the wall is a window. There's a window frame. Uh, there's uh, blinds that are open. My nightstand with lots of stuff on my nightstand. There's a little tray there that I keep my jewelry in while I sleep. This is a little Jesus meditating statue. There's my clock. There's a picture of my daughter and me, a coaster. Uh, this is the little round thing I put my phone on to charge it. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, I think that's the control for the heating blanket. <laughs> uh, of course, more wall. Uh, this is a lovely picture. We can't see all the detail in it, but this is. This little brown thing that you see here, that's St. Francis. He's standing next to a river and all the animals are coming from all over towards St. Francis. Of course, we can see the windows and there's a little bit of, you see the edge of a mountain out the windows, some trees without leaves, the reflection of my bed, my lamp, more window frame. This is my little desk, my little footstool, carpet, trim at the bottom of the wall, right? Lots of detail in this picture. Lots of different things in this picture. But what I'd also like you to notice is that it's one picture. And that all these different items are within the picture in that way, they are in no way separate, right? They're all, it's all one picture. It's not like where this pillow ends, the picture ends, and then there's a new picture for this pillow, right? It's all right across here. There's no actual edge, no actual boundary. It's all one picture. And that's true throughout the entire picture. It's all one picture. And I'd just like you to look about you. Look in the what room you're in, or if you're outside, look around outside. Notice the same thing applies. You, know, you can identify separate things with the mind. Like I have a window and a window frame and you know the picture my daughter made for me and the quilt wall hanging my mother made for me and you know all those same things are here in front of me. The pillows, <laughs> meditating Jesus statue. Look and notice what's around you. What things can you identify? But then notice that in the same way that the picture was all one and that it was all one picture, notice that the things about you are all one and that they're all within 
awareness. It's like awareness is the background, like the paper was the background of the picture. If I've been showing you on paper, since I showed you on a screen, like the screen was the background of the picture. Awareness is the background of everything that you see. It's not like, you know, like I have the same pillows over there. It's not like where that pillow ends, awareness ends, and then there's a new awareness that the next pillow is in, right? Awareness is the screen and everything is one on that screen. You could say there's a relative dividing line between one pillow and another, but there's not a real dividing line. Awareness doesn't stop and then start a new page of awareness. So the game this week is simple. At least once a day and up to three times a day, at least once a day and up to three times a day. Look at a picture. It could be a picture on your phone, a picture on your computer, a picture hanging on your wall. It could even be the picture on your television screen if you're watching TV, right? But look at a picture. Notice the separate things in the picture first, the apparent separate things. And then pause and notice that it's all one picture. There isn't a real dividing line there. And when you really get the sense of it as all one picture, that's a truth for you. Then shift and do the same thing with your environment. Notice the apparent separate things, but notice it's all one awareness. It, it, there's not a, a separation. Just like it's all one picture, it's all one here too. And just be with that sense of oneness for a little bit, that sense of no boundary, no separation. You just want to feel that. The goal of this game is to feel that real sense of one, non-duality, one. In addition to playing this game this week, you can continue to play last week's game, What is Constant? So you play the picture game one to three times a day. And then in between the picture game, you play What is Constant? You'll get lots and lots of glimpses at the true self through doing these two games together. If you didn't see last week's game, What is Constant? Go back and watch Awakening Game number eight. And that's it. I'll be back next week with a new game. Have fun. Bye.